So we don't have the data in the database. So it's time to do that. Now, what I want to do here is whatever data you have here, I want to put that in the database. The way we can do that is, and I want to do that only once, okay? So every time I open this application, it should check if the table is empty, populate with dummy data. If you have any data, just don't do it. Now to achieve that, I'm going to create a function which will do that. And I will say this is init db, init underscore db, that makes sense. And in this, let's do those steps now. So the first thing we need here is we need the connection object. So basically we need to get the session, which we have done before. In fact, we have written that here, but we are not using it. So in fact, for some time now, I will just comment this part and we'll use it later. So once we got the DB object, let's try to add the product. So for product in products, yeah. Let's try to add that in the DB. So it's a DB dot add, okay. And then in this, I have to add the object of the product, okay. So I can simply say product here, but there is one little problem, okay. So see, see what we are trying to do is get the product from the list and add it in the database. That's as simple as that, right? So this is the code for this. But the problem is the DB is working with the database model class of product because this is connecting to the SQL Alchemy. But in the code, the product which we are using is not SQL Alchemy product. It is actually the model which we have created for with the help of Python here. And this will not work. Let me try it out. So let me say init DB and let's see if this works. Uh, okay, so there is a problem here. So you can see it says models.product is not mapped because this thing is not mapped, but this is mapped. So that means you can't pass the object of a product. You have to pass the object of database dot product object. This is what you have to pass. That means we have to find a way to basically convert this product into the product of the mapping, which is database models. And how do we do it? It's very simple, actually. You take this product, which is from the Pydentic and convert that into the database model, okay? So this thing has this feature where it will accept the key value pair from you and then it will create the object for it. So if you can pass that key value pair from the product, your job is done. Now, in order to do that, what you can do is from the product, there's a function called model dump. Now what this will give you, this will give you a dictionary. So if you click here, uh, does it make, yeah. So you can see it gives you a dictionary, okay? Now, once you get this dictionary from the object, so product is the object, from that you are getting the dictionary. Of course, even dictionary will have a key value pair, but here for this product, we don't need dictionary, we need actual key value pair. So how do you convert your dictionary to key value pair is through unpacking. And in Python, we know if you want to do unpacking, you use double star. So when we say double star, that's unpacking. Model dump will give you the dictionary from the object. So let me reiterate, this will give you dictionary and this will give you key value pair. And once we do that, there is no issue. Perfect. And now the application ran. If I check the tables, if I execute this query, okay, still not working. You know why it's not working? Because we are adding, but we are not committing. Because in one of the configuration, we are mentioning auto commit is false. And that's why it is not running. So what I will do is I will do the commit and I will do the commit after the for loop. Once everything is done, I will say db dot commit and our job is done. Let's see, run and voila. Okay. So it's that simple. Okay. So you don't have to write SQL queries. You just say add. It's just that the only point where we struggle is when you wanted to add the product and you have to make sure that you're adding a product of database models, not of parentic model. And, uh, to, you have to basically convert the parentic object using model dump, which will give you a dictionary. And then you have to unpack it using star star, which it will get. And this will just get those values and create the object for you. So a lot of things SQL Alchemy is doing for you is just that it's happening behind the scene and you just have to follow the protocols. Okay, so this looks good, but now we got an error because again, I have saved it. Now, when you save it two times, what happens is it will reload the server. And every time you reload, it will basically execute this, the queries. And then you can't have duplicate values, right? So ID is a primary key. So you can't have duplicate values there. And that's why you got error here. So it's trying to insert, but we have a problem. So I don't want to call this every time uh, we load this. It should do its job only when the table is empty. So we can basically check before you do that. 
so let's say I can use a count variable and the count variable is zero by default. And here I can check if the count is zero, in that case, you do this steps. Otherwise, don't do it. First, I have to fire the query to the database and then it should get written the count. To do that, I will just say here db dot query because you have to fire a query now. So when you want to fetch, you use query. If you want to add, you can directly use add method. And then here, you have to specify for which particular table you are passing a query. In fact, you have to specify the model itself. And you, you can have multiple models in your project, right? So we'll say database models dot product. And then you will say, I want the count. So this will fire a query, which is select count star from the table, which will give you the count. And now this should not be an issue. So if I save this code, let's see if the server is running. So there's no problem. Okay. And anyway, in the normal project, we not we don't even do this, right? Because data will be already there. Or maybe you want to add the data manually. I just wanted to show you if you want to have initial data, you can do this. But with this, we have one little problem. The problem is with every function, like get all methods or get product by ID, whenever you want to use database connection, you have to basically do this line, uh, db equal to session. And then every time you use this, you are creating a session, then you're not closing it. Uh, that's not a good idea. So what we should be doing is, we should be doing that one place where when you need it, it will use it and then the connection will be closed. And also your fast API provides a feature of dependency injection. So we can use that as well. Now, how do we do it? Let's see that in the next video.